over his horse's head, Crazy Horse is proclaiming for the ages, My lands are where my dead lie buried. Progress at Crazy Horse is measured in tons and in decades. This is how the mountain looked in 1947 when Korchak arrived in the Black Hills to accept the Indians' invitation to carve the memorial. This is how the mountain looked in the mid-1990s, with more than 8 million tons of granite removed. Today, the huge figure is virtually blocked out, and the nine-story high face of Crazy Horse is emerging from the stone. The dimensions of Crazy Horse are staggering. When Crazy Horse is completed in the round, it will be 563 feet high and 641 feet long. The three-dimensional carving will stand taller than the Washington Monument. Crazy Horse's outstretched arm will be 263 feet long. That's nearly the length of a football field. 4,000 people could stand on the arm. When completed, the opening under Crazy Horse's arm would hold a 10-story building. The horse's head will be 22 stories tall, while the emerging head and face of Crazy Horse will be 87 and a half feet high. Crazy Horse is the largest sculpture in the world. To help you put its enormous size in perspective, all four of the presidential heads on the magnificent Mount Rushmore Memorial would fit inside Crazy Horse's head. Knowing that the entire Crazy Horse project could take several lifetimes to complete, Korchok made scale models, and with his wife Ruth, prepared comprehensive plans and measurements to be used by the following generations of dreamers. Today, Korchak's wife and many of their ten sons and daughters are among those continuing to realize his awe-inspiring and visionary dream, ensuring that the crazy horse dream becomes reality. I want to tell the world that there was once a race of people that lived here that were remarkable. I am a storyteller in stone. In Korchak's words, it will take many years to complete, maybe many lifetimes. But Crazy Horse can and will be completed because it's right that it should be done. All the revenue for the nonprofit memorial comes from admissions, contributions, and gift sales. Crazy Horse is not a federal or state project because Korchak felt the interested public and not the taxpayer should finance the memorial. He believed so strongly in the free enterprise system, he twice turned down $10 million in potential federal funding. He felt the government would not complete the mountain carving and would not carry out the project's humanitarian goals. Ruth and their family share that philosophy. The financial philosophy here at Crazy Horse has remained the same over all the years. Korchak believed in individual initiative and private enterprise. He didn't think that you had to stand around with your hand out waiting for the government to finance a project. This project has been financed entirely by people coming in here and with their contributions and admissions. And it is not a federal or state project and will not be. We could go faster if we had more money. And it's people like yourselves who make this all possible it doesn't have to be cash. Our museum, 90% of the items there have been gifts that we can share with others. We have a lot of equipment that has been given to us for the mountain. The explosives on the mountain are quite frequently gifts. And there are a lot of ways that people can help with, with things other than cash. People often ask when the mountain will be finished. And there is no definite answer, not because we're trying to be difficult, 
but it depends on the weather, it depends on finances, and Korchak always said it doesn't make any difference when it's finished. The important thing is that you keep on working and that there's always progress. I'm the luckiest person in the world. I love what I do. The magic that was here to start with has only grown, and it's, it's just a wonderful life. Work is one of our greatest blessings. There's no question about it, and I love mine. And having the family together and seven of the ten working with us is just wonderful. The project at this point, and has been now for many years, is a family dream. The youngsters took up the dream as they were growing up. They have rallied around so well since Korchak passed away, and it's definitely a family project. And each one of the youngsters has a niche that they fill, a job that he or she does, and they can use their individual talents, and it's truly a family project. And it's wonderful to see them taking over so that you know there's continuity into the future.